Hello friends, this is Christy from Crafty Christy's Creations and today I'm going to teach you how to make a custom color palette inside a Silhouette Studio. This is the place to find step-by-step -step directions on how to do all the things in Silhouette Studio. Whether you're a beginner or needing a little refresher, this is the place for you. So grab your computer and open Silhouette Studio. It's time to dive into another episode. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to come over here to our uh, fill palette. Um, and it just looks like, um, like an art palette board. And then you can see here you've got your recently used colors, your fill color, and then you've got the option here to make a new palette. And you can see right here, I've already made one custom palette, and this is my brand colors. When you hover over it, it will tell you the name. And then we're going to make a new palette, and we're going to make an uh, Easter color palette. All right, and then I can just hit the plus button here. And then you can see it's already labeled it as the Easter color palette. And then when we go to add... What it's going to do is open our advanced options down here. So you've got options down here for different ways to pick your color. The easiest one for us to use is going to be the hex code, which is this one here. So how are we going to make a new palette? We are going to go over to Google and um, we're going to install a um, color picker as a Chrome extension. And the one I'm using is Colorzilla. So if you open this up here, it's going to open up your extensions. And then um, because I've already had it added, um, I, it's going to give me the remove. But otherwise, you're going to see the add to Chrome over here. And then what that does is it puts it up here into your extensions. So now that we've got that added, I went ahead and looked on Google for an Easter palette. And this is the one I like. So I'm going to pick up my uh, color picker here. And then you've got a lot of options and I'm going to do the page color picker. And then I can come down here and pick the color that I want. And then you can see up top it said it added the color to the clipboard. So now what I can do in Silhouette is come back over here and hit Control V to paste. And you can see it pasted the hex code over here. So now I'm gonna come back to Google, grab my color picker again and I'm going to grab the next color. Again, it pasted it to the clipboard. I'm going to come into Silhouette. Um, you can also right click and hit paste. And then there's your hex code for your second color. So I'm going to keep doing this for the entire color palette. And then once I get it all in here, I'll jump back in and we'll show you what we're going to do next. Alrighty, now we've got all of the hex codes over here. So we can go ahead and start entering those down here to make our new color palette. So I'm just going to delete what's here and then we're going to start from the top. So we've got A, 6, D, 5, E, 5, enter. Oop. Let's try that again. A, 6, D, 5, E, 5. And then we're going to hit the plus button. And that added that color. So now we'll come down here and put in our next color. 85C3B4. And then hit the plus sign. FBED. Six zero. Hit the plus. And then we're on nine six B C E nine. Hit the plus sign. And the last one D D C F E eight. And we'll hit the plus again. All right, so there is our new color palette. So the nice part is that that palette will stay there for now on. 
And now I can come over here and I can just make some squares. And then I'm just holding the Alt or Option key on a Mac to make multiple copies. And then we're just going to fill these with our different colors. So now I can use my eyedropper tool or with that one highlighted, I've got that color chosen. And I'll pick my next color. And so now you can see how we can just use these like our normal color palettes. Okay, so there you have it. That is how to make a custom color palette inside of Silhouette Studio. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christie.